is the top destination for investors right now around the world? Is it Dubai? Is it London? Or is it Miami? Or is there another better option out there? Stay tuned to watch the entire video and I'm gonna share with you a great destination with very high returns and very high capital appreciation. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Think Turkey. This is Moaz Huck and today we are gonna talk about where is the best location right now around the world for investors where they can get the best rental returns, ROI, and also a good healthy appreciation year by year. So let's get started. So now as you heard, I mentioned a few cities. I mentioned Dubai, Miami, London, so I want to talk to you about these cities first before I reveal to you another option which I believe to be of great potential. So let's take a look at London, for example, a very popular destination uh, for many people around the world uh, that prefer to invest in London and in London real estate. So currently in London, the rental returns are looking, you're looking at about 5 to 8% and anything above 6% is considered very good. So this is as a rental average, you can you know, see, uh, if you research that, you will see that this is the average, and I'm talking about London specifically and not other areas outside of London, so not like Manchester, Birmingham, or any of those areas, but mainly within London itself. Now, what about the capital appreciation in London? So in the last five years, we are looking at 12% growth in overall as an average. In the last five years, we're looking at 12% uh, uh, overall as a capital appreciation growth. And this is not annually. This is as a, as a whole uh, over the last five years. So anywhere between three, two to three percent, you can say, uh, uh, you know, as, as, as the last five years. So the second city that I mentioned is Miami. So let's talk about Miami. So Miami is also a very popular destination recently for many investors, you know, very you know, seaside in the States. Um, some celebrities like Messi, for example, has, you know, is known to have invested and bought property there. So a lot of people are considering Miami as a great investment potential uh, as well. So what are the rental returns on average look like in Miami right now? So right now you're looking at anywhere between two to 6% in Miami, roughly even seven. So again, similar to London, maybe even on the lower side, if you, if you look at it that way, because London, we were saying even up to, uh, you know, even 8%. On London, it was average like five to 8%. Anything above six was considered very good. So here we are uh, in Miami, you're looking at two to six, you're maxing out at six, whereas London, we were maxing out at eight on average. So in, in Miami, what is the capital appreciation that's looking like right now? So average, what the numbers are saying is three to 5% annually per year. So it's every year, three to 5%. So over five years, you can say that it's roughly 15, to uh, closer to 20%. So a good, good healthy appreciation, um, you know, whereas uh, London, you, you saw 12 years. So decent, I would say. Um, again, how easy is it to get like the 5%? We're not sure. We have to make sure the numbers are, uh, you know, on an average. So we'll take, we'll always go as a conservative number, let's say as a three, 4%, you could say over a period of, of five years. So you're looking at in five years, 20%. Now let's talk about Dubai, which is a very popular destination among investors right now. Um, and as you know, the market has really peaked in this last, I would say six to 10 months. We have seen incredible sales in Dubai at the moment, really good activity going on over there. So in Dubai, again, there's a lot of marketing hype. So we have to be careful and separate ourselves from the marketing numbers and the more realistic numbers. That is actually what's happening because some of those marketing numbers are like unique situations. So like it might be a unit which is, you know, very uh, much larger than the average unit 
or it is like you know getting absolute panoramic you know sea view whereas the other units are facing on the other side and they're at different floors so again we have to be careful when we talk about the numbers so in terms of the numbers in Dubai for ROI we are looking at in the marina area Dubai marina we're looking at about six percent um, and a higher ROI location would, would get you uh, closer to 9%. Um, even uh, some average numbers from even like major uh, property agencies and institutions there have quoted numbers like 7 to 8%. Uh, even 6 to 8 percent, one of the leading developers, for example, Damak, has mentioned that the ROI is 6 to 8 percent. So as you can see, this is a much higher number than, um, you know, than London or Miami. Miami topped out at 6 percent. London was topping out average at 8. That was the highest, most realistic number. Here we are looking at topping out at even nine i would say and i think this is a very realistic number to achieve in dubai market especially in locations like marina uh, if you have a nicer unit and you can market it well uh, you could i would say potentially get closer to uh, nine percent in uae now let's talk about capital appreciation in dubai so in capital appreciation according to damak they're saying that it's 20 to 30 percent over the last five years so that is, you know, roughly almost 5%, um, you know, each year. Let's take it at an average of 25% because they said 20 to 30. So let's say it's 25. So every year you're looking at a healthy 5% increase, which is the top number uh, for Miami. Miami was 3 to 5, so I would say it's roughly 4. So they're at like 20%. Uh, whereas Dubai is at 25%, so more than more than Miami. So uh, this is my overall analysis of these three cities now currently, uh, top major destinations for investment. Now everyone's waiting for the mystery uh, location. The mystery location where I would say you could, you know, you're looking at rental yields easily at 10%. Uh, and you're looking at appreciation again at 30%, so which is similar to Dubai and possibly more, possibly even more, uh, because in certain cases we have seen a much higher uh, increase as well in this location. And the location is North Cyprus, so not the South Cyprus. There's two parts of Cyprus. I've made a video on this earlier as well. There's, so there's South Cyprus, which kind of belongs to Greece, and there's North Cyprus, which is affiliated with Turkey. So Northern Cyprus is a very hot destination right now for investors. And, and it has been increasing in popularity. It has been named by Forbes in the last apparently three to four years. Even if you look, at, look it up right now, Forbes, uh, you know, best beach holiday destinations or investment destinations for holiday property, beachfront properties you will see uh, this uh, location uh, northern cyprus in there along with many south american destinations as well so like colombia belize uh, these types of mexico certain islands parts of Me mexico uh, and one of them is northern cyprus so it has been called out by one of the top magazines out there so definitely and not in just one article in multiple articles as well so Northern Cyprus, and I'll tell you why I believe that it, without researching, without actually checking it, I wouldn't really recommend it on my channel, but I would say that it has a lot of potential. Let me tell you why. The potential it has is because Northern Cyprus is still a very developing market. It has excellent, you know, beachfront real estate, beachfront properties right now. Um, whereas other cities around the world, the premium locations, look at Antalya even, for example, Antalya, uh, Bodrum, uh, Istanbul, all of these areas, the, the, the sea view beachfront properties are extremely expensive. You cannot find anything less than, you know, 500,000, 600,000 and above uh, dollars, uh, you know, and above. So these are very, you know, in Alanya, Again, you can get lucky at times as well, definitely as in Alanya, there's still potential. But again, we're talking about 
average type of developments. These are not very fancy developments. When it comes to fancy construction, like hotel style construction, you would not get it in Alanya, uh, unfortunately, at that, at that price that you're getting it here. So in Northern Cyprus, what is the prices, let's say the starting prices right now? The starting prices for a studio is about 100,000 pounds. Pounds is the currency used or sterling, GBP, the English currency is used in, in, uh, in Cyprus. This is one of the advantages of investing there that your contracts, your rent, your rental returns, everything is done legally in pounds. Now uh, let's talk about some of the, one of the most attractive points actually is the payment plan. This is uncompetable right now in the market and I'll tell you why. Like payment plans like this are, you know, usually, for example, usually what you see is that, you know, you have a down payment of, let's say anywhere between, you know, 50%, 40%, and then the rest you're paying in about one year or two years time, right? This is what a normal development payment plan looks like in most places. But here is, is the type of payment plan, which I'll tell you, is that you're paying 35% down payment, right? So you pay the 35% down payment. Uh, then you're paying in 36 months, you're paying the remaining 35%, which is three years, right? Then in the, then the remainder of the 30%, so so far you've paid 70%, right? Three, so for, let's say, let's give you an example. So starting prices are, is about 100,000 pounds. So you pay 35,000 dollars, 35,000 pounds as a down payment, right? This is easy. Uh, if you've got 35,000 pounds saved up, which is still a pretty decent amount, but it's, it's manageable amount for people to save, right? You can save this much money within a, within a few years. So you've got this much, you put it down. Now, you have three years to pay the remainder of the 35%, all right? So this 35%, 35,000 pounds, if you divide that into three, is roughly like 12,000 uh, pounds in a year, which is a thousand pounds a month, right? So again, 12,000, 11,000 pounds in a year over three years is not that big of a, 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 a you know, a commitment. So that is doable too. Then you have the final uh, 20%, which is the best part. So the last 20%, uh, the last 30% is payable after you get the key. So now you got the key, the, the place has been, is being managed professionally, it has been put on rent, and your expected ROI, rental ROI, is anywhere between 10 to 14%. So an average of 12 is achievable. So you're looking at 12,000 pounds net in your pocket. So basically your monthly payments from the last 30, from the last 30% is now, you know, paid off just by getting the rent. Let's say that it's short uh, for a, you know, few months here and there, and you have to make up for that, like an extra thousand pounds here and there in the per every year, that's fine. But overall, if you look at it, it is making like to me this makes a lot of sense now this kind of deal does happen from time to time in in the uae you do see in dubai a few offers might come up but they are snapped up like this so you you can not catch them that easily uh you know where you have that much extended payment plans so and the other thing is that with UAE is a great destination. I love UAE as a you know place to invest, place to live. It's great. It has a lot of potential. Um, but I would say that you know for those people who are looking at a bit of a you know not that much mature market, but a more developing market, more more nature. It's more natural areas. You've got greenery. You've got like the the temperature is a lot more uh manageable you know in dubai for some people it's too hot they just come there and they just can't manage it especially in the in the summer months it's extremely hot and that is one of the most hottest regions on on earth basically that persian gulf area uh you know that has reached record numbers in the past it's always been the one of the hottest climates areas of the entire world so for some people at times it can be unmanageable um, so in that case, I would say if you are looking for a place which has potential to grow in the future, right? I'm talking about appreciation. I'm talking about a place where it has room to grow. 
Like UAE, I would say, still has room to grow, but you know, um, it's sort of it, it could be reaching at a time where it needs to cool off at, at, at some time. So uh, we don't know that for sure. I would say it still has potential. But if you want to look at another location, which gives you great ROI, which is gives you great capital appreciation because of the, you know, of the proximity from the from the water that you are, which you cannot find anywhere in the world right now at this rate. I mean, it's been listed on Forbes as the, one of the most affordable areas to you know beachfront property locations. Great potential places to invest. If, of course, if you are like going in the U.S. side, like Mexico, Colombia, again, these places from safety point of view have improved a lot, but they still, I would say, cannot compete with places like Northern Cyprus or UAE. Like these are like much more safer. Like there's like, you know, sky and ground difference, basically, when it comes to safety levels, even though those places, I'm not saying they're bad. They have improved a lot and there's a lot of potential. But but northern cyprus i would say is is a place that you should be considering right now if you want to be an early investor in the market if you want to have a stress-free experience if you want to get great rental returns and as an off-plan investor you want to have that extra appreciation so we're talking about off-plan appreciation is different so off-plan appreciation is not like standard appreciation like you know five percent every year right off-plan appreciation is like a, a chunk of appreciation. You can get like 40-50% appreciation and the ease of buying property is very good because you're sending your money here. Um, the, you know, and I'll talk in other videos about the other technical aspects of the documents, the taxes and everything. But in, I'm telling you, there is a, like there is very good advantages of buying here and it's easy to buy. You can buy with uh, foreign currency, you can buy with crypto. Uh, the developers here are some of the their major big brand developers here that are working here that have very good experience, good construction knowledge, and you're not really, uh, you know, risking your money that much. You're 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 basically the risk aspect is very decreased. So again, I'm going to be re releasing more videos coming soon on this topic. For now, I think this is enough. So if you found this, again, content to be useful, if you found it to be uh, helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions and comments, feel free to leave it below. And thank you so much. Look forward to, again, working with you. If you are looking to invest in Northern Cyprus, then please get in touch with the phone number below or with the email address below. And myself or one of our team members will get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you in the next video.